Hey everyone, this will be our lesson video on graphing lines and looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. A large part of this was covered in 8th grade math and Algebra 1. So I want to start out, you guys probably remember the phrase slope-intercept form. I'm kind of refreshing you on that. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And in that, m is the slope. Slope is always located next to x. That's going to be your rise over run for the line. And b is going to be your y-intercept. And a y-intercept is going to be the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So uh, we'll go through and look at a couple examples um, of what those are, how to find them. So first question, very straightforward. It just says, what is the slope-intercept form? And we are given an equation of a line. So to find slope-intercept, as you can see, all five of your choices are in y equals. So our goal is going to be to get anything that's not a y and move that to the right side. So if we had 5x, you would need to eliminate that with a minus 5x. So you'd have minus 5x on the right. You have a minus 9, so we need to add 9. So you get to add 9 on the right. So that's going to leave us with a negative y equals. Now I do want to mention this. All the time students will mess this up because they'll try to combine the x and the 9. Those are not like terms, so that needs to stay negative 5x plus 9. And be careful at this point, we are not finished because that was a negative y to start the problem. So we have to get rid of the negative that's still in front of the y. So you would divide this by negative 1, meaning you divide everything on the other side by negative 1. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 makes a positive 5x. Positive 9 and negative 1 is going to make that a negative 9. So we get 5x minus 9, which is h. Some of you guys may have noticed at the very beginning, um, we could have just added y to the right side. That would have made 5x minus 9. Certainly could have done that. All right, same idea here. It gives us an equation of a line. We have 8x plus 3y equals 5, and it only wants the slope of this line. So if we take our 8x plus 3y equals 5, and again, you're trying to get y by itself. So we're going to start off with the minus 8x. So we'll minus 8x to this right side, bring down the 3y. And again, you do not combine the x and the number. That's going to stay a minus 8x plus 5. And now we'll divide by 3 to get y by itself. So we'll divide everything by 3 here. We're only looking for slope. Slope is located with x. So that's a negative 8 divided by 3, which is going to make that f. Uh, one more of these, just make sure we're all on the same page. You're looking for the slope, again, of the line with 5x minus 4y equals 3. We're going to need to minus the 5x. We're going to get y by itself. So we'd minus 5x to the right. That leaves us negative 4y equals, again, number and an x. They do not combine, not like terms. So minus 5x plus 3. We would divide here by negative 4, divide this by negative 4, be careful on that. It's a negative 5 divided by a negative 4. Two negatives make a positive, so this is actually going to be D and not B because the two negatives, again, make that a positive. A little different type of question here. Uh, we're given this triangle AOB formed by line AB, the x-axis, and y-axis, and it wants to know which of the following is an equation of AB. So on this, you want to think about your y-intercept, and you want to think about your slope. So if I'm looking at AB here, I notice that my y-intercept is this positive 6. So I would mark out any answer choice that does not have a y-intercept of positive 6. So that's not positive 6. That's not positive 6. So I can mark out answer choices B and D. Now, furthermore, this line is decreasing, all right? Because it's decreasing, 
That means it's got a negative slope. So since it has a negative slope, you can mark out any answer choice that does not have a negative slope. Well, I noticed that C and E do not have negative slopes. They're both going to be wrong, and that makes A correct answer. Uh, kind of a variation of that question wants to know which of the following um, is the equation of the line that passes through these two points in the standard coordinate plane. So a few different options on this. Uh, we can see that F, G, and H all have the same slope. J and K have the same slope. We talked last lesson about finding a slope. I would probably start there. So if I set this up and do y minus y, so negative 2 minus a negative 5 over x minus x, so 10 minus a negative 2. Well, if I do negative 2 minus a negative 5, that's going to become plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5 would be 3. Minus a negative 2 is a plus 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. And 3 over 12 makes 1 over 4 means I can mark out J and K. So at this point, I've got um, a positive slope of one-fourth. You could go through and plug these into your calculator using that Y equals graph function, see which one of those goes through the points. You may be familiar with point-slope form uh, from algebra. That's where you can plug a point in with the slope and use that to get your line. So if I take this first point and I plug that into point-slope form, that is y minus the y-coordinate, which is negative 2. And that equals your slope times your x minus the x-coordinate. So it would look like this. And then you would start to simplify that to get to slope-intercept. So minus a negative 2 would be y plus 2. One-fourth of x would be one-fourth x. And then minus, if we go back and do 1 fourth times a negative 10, that's going to be negative 10 over 4. And then at this point, you would want to subtract 2 here to eliminate that. So we'll minus 2 there. So that's going to get us y equals 1 fourth x. And again, if we take that negative 10 over 4 and subtract 2 from it, you're going to get a value of negative 9 over 2. And that makes that answer choice F. Right, I do want to mention here vertical and horizontal lines. Um, a lot of times students will forget those. This wants to know what's the equation of AC. I can see that AC is this side here. It's a vertical line. So if it's a vertical or a horizontal line, it's only going to have an X or a Y. So we can go ahead and mark out those three choices there. So this is where students will get confused. So the X axis is horizontal, but AC is only going to go through the X axis at two. Since it only goes through the X axis at two, that means our equation is x equals 2. So try not to overthink something like that. All right, talking about parallel and perpendicular slopes. Um, again, this was a big middle school math, Algebra 1 concept. Hopefully you can remember that parallel lines never intersect, and perpendicular lines are going to intercept, or intersect, excuse me, and make a 90 degree right angle. Parallel lines have the same slope. That's why they do not intersect. And again, perpendicular lines are going to make a right angle because they have opposite reciprocal um, slopes. Looking at a couple examples on this, if I got a slope of two-thirds and it needs to be parallel, it just stays two-thirds. Perpendicular with opposite reciprocal. Opposite means you change your sign. So you go from positive to negative. Reciprocal means you flip your fraction, so that's going to flip and become a negative 3 over 2. Looking at negative 5, parallel again is just the exact same slope, so it stays negative 5. Perpendicular means it's the opposite, so we would go to positive. 
Reciprocal means you would flip your fraction. We know that 5 is understood to be 5 over 1. So the reciprocal for that would be a 1 fifth. So simple as that. Um, start off first. This one wants to know what is the slope of any line that is parallel to this line. So this goes back to the first skill. We have to get it to y equals mx plus b to find the slope. So if we've got 5x plus 7y equals 7, you would need to subtract 5x. So we'd have 7y equals negative 5x plus 7. Divide that by 7, divide that by 7. So our current slope is negative 5 over 7. Again, parallel means it's going to be the same slope. So if we keep it the same, that's going to make that G. Uh, this question here says you've got a line of y equals 1 fourth x plus 6. You're looking for perpendicular. Again, perpendicular is that opposite reciprocal. So right now our current slope is 1 fourth. The opposite's going to make that negative. Reciprocal means you're going to flip that. You flip four, 1 over 4, you're going to get 4 over 1. So you've only got one line that has a slope of negative 4. That's going to be A. Now that y-intercept of plus 6 in the problem does not mean anything. Uh, perpendicular and parallel is based only on slope. So um, I do want to point out, if they were to ask you about parallel lines on this, answer choices D and E would have been your parallel slopes. All right, hope this is a good review of those skills. Uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email or leave a comment.